Hello everyone, welcome to Bone Warrior 2's channel where we will be talking about Star Wars Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 9. So this episode was very good because it showed the differences between Anakin and Obi-Wan. Showing the relationship, you have that little uh, bad cop, good cop, and then uh, you got to see how Anakin is a better Jedi than uh, Obi-Wan in the sense of he goes in straight forward whilst Obi-Wan he analyzes it like a true Jedi but sometimes that can't always be uh, a great thing in battlefields I think Anakin could relate to Mace Windu in so a sort of sense maybe uh, but anyways so Obi-Wan was uh, in command of the uh, co uh, Commander Cody's uh, battalion whilst Anakin's battalion which is the 501st was underground well not underground under the bridge preparing to do a surprise attack on the separatists and you got to see the, a little bit of uh, a comedy side to it as usual but then Anakin was walking fearlessly uh, towards the separatists showing us how great he is as a Jedi and how this war has changed him as a person then we got to uh, see where Ahsoka like what her position is with the Mandalorians how they've explained it to her and everything and we finally got to see a relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka we got to see them finally talking and it was absolutely amazing it was definitely a paid off thing because she didn't want to talk to him she wanted to get straight down to business and I thought that was really great because it shows her that where her mindset is Anakin acknowledged this and he went straight to it even though he felt a bit denied from her he felt like she might be ignoring her at first but it was pretty good with a very mutual respect and everything Obi-Wan was very skeptical uh, uh, very s skeptical about uh, going into the f fight and well going into this Mandalorian fight because of the hundred years or a thousand years treaty of, of like they're not the Republic's not allowed to get in battle with the Mandalorians because the Mandalorians hold a very big grudge against them because they had a war and everything so they don't want to get into a war or bring the Republic into their war it should be a very civil thing but Bo-Katan uh, realized the situation especially when Maul's there so they all so she's trying to convince Obi-Wan Obi-Wan has to think but then she says a few words obviously about uh, about the Duchess the Duchess was uh, Obi-Wan's love life so Obi-Wan felt like he that held a little bit of grudge but as a Jedi he had a great response he shouldn't hold things like that against him but then she came out with a counter saying I thought she meant more and then now he, think, he thought about it even a little bit more so they were having this big argument on the ship and everyone uh, because obviously the Coruscant battle which I'm sad that Anakin's leaving but at least we know what's going to become of him we know what he's going to become as so then it was really sad even though we get to see Rex and then the 501st join Ahsoka into this new battle with Mandalorians it is sad to see Anakin go because we know what he's about to become unless we get to see him just before it a hologram or whatever but more of a dark side I don't know maybe we might see that but uh, we know he'll kill Count Dooku and everything like that but leading on to the Mandalorian I thought it was absolutely amazing that the uh, th whilst they was talking that he gave her the whole I kind of got shivers especially when he gave her the lightsabers and then she walked f uh, through the room to see all the clones the 501st clones with a new paint job of Ahsoka I think it's really good that they do that because maybe ha half of them are, haven't got the paint job the 501st and that's the one where Anakin takes to Coruscant whilst the other 501st half go with Ahsoka with the paint job. I think that's a very good way to tell it. But uh, leading into the Mandalorian War, Obi-Wan decides to take let them have half whilst they take the other half of 501st into the Coruscant battle. 
I think that would be a very that's a very good idea of Anakin. So when we got to the Mandalorian, obviously they smashed it with the action. The action was amazing, especially one shots and then when Ahsoka was using her lightsabers when she finally got into battle and using them, they were it was an amazing, amazing scene. Uh, I I just couldn't. I was speechless throughout it. And so when you got when they went down in the when she went and landed on the platform, I thought it was absolutely amazing because it it brought some Star Wars memories back and the Clone Wars memories, and just to see how much she's grown as a Jedi as well because you could tell that she's quite head on like Anakin so it was good to see some of them traits from him onto her as well I thought that was a very good and I just want to say that the Mandalorian Darth Maul uh, costumes well their uh, armor is absolutely amazing props to the design team because I really love the whole red and then yellow I thought that was a, a good touch on it and then we had obviously the Mandalorian's the normal Mandalorians, Bo-Katan's battalion, as well as the clones, so it was good to see clones fighting. I don't think clones, the 501st, are amazing at what they do, but these are Mandalorians and they're bred to fight, and it was good to see Saxon as well. I was trying to look for Sabine, but I didn't know how old she is. I, I don't know if that was Sabine next to Saxon. You'll have to put it down in the comments below if that was Sabine. I don't think it was Sabine next to him, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, Back, back to uh, going into the uh, Siege of Mandalore, I just loved the whole idea of how big it was, explosions everywhere, because it doesn't show, like, unlike the TV show Rebels, it was quite small, it was very beautiful the, how they designed it, but this one, it feels more open, it feels like a battlefield, it feels like an open conflict, so I thought that was really good to show everyone that this is an open battlefield, and these and clones are risking themselves and Mandalorians are risking themselves it's an all-out battle and then whilst they thought they captured everything one of them had a radio call that uh, they have spotted or uh, got a transmission that clones uh, clones have told them that da uh, an unknown signal down below ground and un in that was awaiting was a trap from the Darth Maul's Mandalorians and then it became a very turn-sided event where Ahsoka's battalion was well her squad was trapped under the ground and they were surprise attack and obviously they didn't stand a chance and then Darth Maul he, he appears and he was obviously expecting Obi-Wan Kenobi but then he got Ahsoka and then I think that was a good cliffhanger and I'm loving the whole idea of its longer episodes as well because I I think that's amazing what what my temptation as well to do is like get all the uh, all the uh, episodes and then convert it into a whole movie I f if you want me to do that put it down in the comments because I can uh, once they're out I'll get them into like download the videos and then I'll convert it all into a whole movie if you want me to do that because I think, especially this, these last four episodes, I think that would be amazing to do. So, my overview is, I, I'm, I'm amazed at it. it. It annoys me because I have to wait weekly and weekly. But I was amazed by it. And, I, and it was just super amazing to see all this action. There was action, story, character development. There was, there was stakes in it. Because stakes, like, such as, like, this is the last stand of Mandalore and I just want to see Maul take out some more Maul a knight his lightsaber and how did he go through the Emperor's uh, torture as well I think that would be a good point of view to see and how he sees the dark side now even though he's still with the dark side he, he'd like to see how he is because will he turn his name is this how he turns his name into Maul instead of Darth Maul I think it would be a cool cool thing to hear about that and the last thing is I'm just super excited for the next episode. So are you all super excited? I'm, I'm super excited. But that's all the time we've got for uh, today. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell to see more videos like this.
But other than that, guys, I'll see you till the next. Bye.